today's kit that we've got on the bench is the F4B, the Sundowner VF111 Academy kit. I've done an unboxing on this. I'll put a link up so that you can uh, watch that if you'd like before you watch this video. But so I'm not going to go through what you get with box and all that. I'm just going to crack on with kit. So we'll get it opened up. We'll start getting this built. I think she's going to be a beauty. First thing you're doing is you're building the cockpit. Now you've got to cut these corners off here it tells you. But there's two parts you do that on. I made a mistake. I only did it on one side to do other one after we had razor saw. Which were a bit awkward actually getting to it. But like I say get them both done first. Get these cut off and then you can put them in there. Use a Tammy R Extra Thin. It's my favourite, as you know, everybody knows if you've watched my videos before. And this side piece, another one, I'll let you know, I made a mistake with this. This one's gluing about 3mm further to the right, so you've got a little shelf on it, otherwise you struggle getting the uh, instrument panel in there. It's just a little heads up in case you've never built one of these before because it does help. It kind of shows you it on instruction but it, it doesn't do it very well to be honest. These smaller parts, I just put them in place and just glue like that. A few dobs for these ones that go on the side. I will add a little bit down edges if I feel that it's not gluing down and sticking tight that were about five six pieces that you do there is it no five pieces and i'll tell you now it were a pain getting them all to line up and glue perfectly once you do you're just gluing it to the cockpit like that. i've already broke the very bottom piece off of that i've got to glue that back again after but probably when i've done all main painting the little bit that you see sticking down didn't last five minutes with me. They never do little beaters like that. And you're just going around building up your cockpit like this. Oh, like this then. <laughs> but yeah, you're just steadily building small parts. Now, you can leave these cockpits this colour. It does tell you it is a kit you can build and leave like that. But I prefer to paint my kit, so we will be painting this one. This seat, just it's about five six pieces might even be a bit more than that but you're just gluing them all bit by bit like this together until you build up the seat itself very fiddly i would recommend some tweezers as well because it does help and this is where i like your tummy are extra thin because it, it goes off really quick so it gives you that chance to build them fast and then they're ready for painting when you've built them quick rather than waiting couple of hours for them to properly dry before you dare touch out. Just using the uh, Mr. Surface of Black here just to prime everything, bring it all the same colour. Now I'm using Tamiya's XF53 Neutral Grey. Back to nearly the same colour it all was before. <laughs> but it, it's all now one uniform colour. You do not get any decals for the instrument panels on this. So you've got to start painting them in yourself. It's a time consuming. It's a proper pain doing it like this. But you do get a really good finish if you do it. And take your time and do it right. So yeah. I'm not going to bore you with me doing every single tiny bit of it, but here you go. That's it when I've painted all the little instruments myself. Done my best I can. I've, I've not got the greatest hands but for painting, but uh, yeah. See, it's just your basic see, paint it up. I'm using various Vallejo paints here, khaki and stuff like that, all different ones, just to paint it in so it looks quite nice to be honest I'm brushing 
a little bit. This is Vallejo Just Silver, and just brushing faintly, dry brushing it by the way, over these instrument panel bits here. And it just picks out the tops of the buttons and stuff like that, the dials, whatever you want to call it. And that way, it makes it look like there's a lot more surface detail. Same again on this. It gives it that bit more surface detail as you want. Just got to be careful, though, that you don't overload the brush. And now, I'm using Tamiya's gloss, and I'm putting dobs of it, like that, straight into where an instrument panel's glass screen bit would be so that it reflects back makes it look more realistic i've got some orange there that you can see the clear orange and i put a dot of that further up because that's the color it was this time putting it now these are the main uh, fuse large sections and stuff like that that we're now starting to glow to so the cockpit's going in there but the, that's a Tamiya white one. It's a slower setting glow. Gives me time to get my parts in. And that's last the instrument panels going in. Just got that one to fit. That's not bad at all. And the seats, I, I'm only test fitting them just to see how the, the sit and the look. I am not leaving them like that because you put them in after the seats. But that looks absolutely spot on if you ask me. Can you see reflection on them instrument panels there from that gloss? This did my head in. These bits here are an absolute pain. Um, oh, really, I ended up nearly throwing these out at window. They're absolutely awkward to build. They keep flopping apart like that. See, just keeps happening. It does your head in. But eventually you get them done, but you've got two of these to make. They're very flimsy. And here's your undercarriage's main strut leg, whatever you want to call them, and you just glue that into place like that. I don't like this bit of design. I really don't. And then you're putting these into the underside bit here to make like a, the the well, the bay bit of it. But again, like I say, absolute pain. Now we're again the wings together. Started to get a bit of shape to it now. They've got lots of little, you can see the little locating pins makes it very easy for putting them together and getting them in the right place, in all honesty. And again, I go around all of my parts when I'm doing this with me uh, Tammy R Extra Fin. The intakes for the engines. Again, easily done. They're just sl sl slot together. They've got little located pins. Everything's been designed very well like that for located pins until you get them silly little pieces like earlier where you're building six or eight pieces together that don't like sitting. And these are the engines themselves. Uh, I don't know how they're going to look when they're all painted up. There seems to be a nice bit of detail on them though. They don't look too bad at all. See there's that little pin there that just so it makes it easy. You know exactly where you're putting it. And they just slot onto there again. And there's a place specifically designed for them to sit. You can see it's held up a bit there. Yeah, it, it's spot on that. It really is. And this bit here just sits at the back. And it kind of holds it all in place to make sure it doesn't fall apart. But it is part of what you see as well, so... Has to be done carefully. Make sure you get it in the right spot. And the intakes, you'll see there's a little groove cut out. They sit into that and then again onto an area at the back. So that they all just sit perfectly in place. This is a paint. We're starting to get a bit big for where I've got it on my camera, on the desk, but... 
you can see you've got to try and line all of that up perfectly. Now, it, you can do it, and, and it is thingy, but it is, like I say, a pain. You've just got to steadily work your way around it. But you've got to hold it so perfectly in your hands until all this glue's gone off. It just, oh. We started to build up the fuselage now, and you, you can see this is where the uh, refueling probe is. You can have the refueling probe out if you want, but uh, mine's going to be on the ground. Don't think they really ever had the refueling probes out much on ground unless they were doing maintenance. They are for in flight. But the top of it just sits on there absolutely perfectly. First time it went on there. I'm well happy with that. Half the time I get parts in the wrong place and I have to mess about, so it makes it a lot easier when they fit lovely like that. You just have to work your way around all of that, doing that. Just steadily glue a bit, move on, glue a bit. It's that or you use a, a longer time setting glue and you have to put some clamps or rubber bands around it. These are part of the intake area. They're going to sit over where you can see it's white there. Oop, nearly dropped that one. And they sit there like that. Now she's looking like an F4. Looks beautiful. Just have to press these in a bit when you're gluing them in. I don't, I'm not saying it's a bad fix. I don't think it is. But it just helps close that little bit of a gap you were seeing up. Little pieces now going on all around it. There's lots of them. I'm not going to bore you by showing you every little tiny piece that you have to put on just to do it. But you can imagine that there's quite a few. I am saving some of the very, very small parts so that I can paint them up and add them after because I'll just snap them off. Just going nose cone on now. I make sure I don't get my fingers too close to that, otherwise I'll end up putting fingerprints on it. And there's a couple of these, it tells you which one to put on. I presume for later models you've gotten a few different ones. Looks well that. And then top piece here. That just goes into there. And now you, you're really starting to see the kit now take shape. This is the top of the uh, instrument dial area, so it encloses it in. I have to push this in a bit here. It's It kept wanting to pop off. So just make sure it's in before you finish. And this goes there, and then you're kind of about done with the very top with these small bits. Obviously, except for the tiny ones I'm putting on after. This is rear section. I'll tell you now, that were a pain to glue together because one side was slightly into other and I had to push it open a little bit with... Uh, it were a pencil, I think, or something like that, just to make it sprag a little bit at the bottom so it, it all fitted nicely. But it fitted all right on this piece here, so not too bad. You see, it looks well actually, because they're now with the different colours, the greys and the blacks for the engines and all of that. These are for wings. Your flaps for it, so that... Uh, I mean, you could set them in a pointing down if you want and stuff like that, but I'm just leaving it all flat. I find it easier to paint, in all honesty, when they're all flat. And your tail section's now going on. There is, uh, a, like a, again, look at it, but a little point where it does fit in well. So at the back there, you can see that gap. That gap's meant to be there because there's going to be another part of the tail area going on as well. So you've got to make sure you leave that. You can see I've already fitted it there. And the rear wings... These do point down. Don't try and do them as if they're uh, supposed to be flat. They're not. And these point up. Because that's what 
the F4 Phantom were designed as, and that's what makes it look so good, unique. Just print last underparts on there, underside ones. It's just a few little ones, not a lot. These are pylons. These are there's a lot of these to make because there's a lot of ordinance. If you want to print on that, is that the F4 carried, and it's like that. There's a good few going to go on that one and all there. There is a few different ones and all you can build for this, depending on how you want to do it. So just make sure you pick it right. And I will admit, I've built a couple of wrong ones. These are the uh, fuel tanks, externals. I'm adding all three to it. That way I think it'll look a little bit more meaty, better, as they say. Especially underneath. These are bombs. I'm only adding six of these. You should build 12 if you want to do it more as a bomb load art itself. They're painted up. You've got, like I said, they are all of them pieces there. And then you've got the fins to put on back as well. And the missiles, you can see I've already built some up in top left corner and I'm building now. Uh, these are the sidewinders, I believe. The others were sparrows. And there is a lot of detail on them. You've got the fins to put on at front as well, which are a little bit fiddly, but yeah, they're doable. But that's it all together, as in it's built now. As you can see, that's the main body of it. It's all done. And it, to be honest, it's bloody good kit. It's, it seems to fit together really, really well. I haven't really had any issues with it. So I've got that done. You can see there, it's sinking down. It's not asked for any nose weight, or I've not noticed it in the instructions, but it's dropping down anyway. So I think it's going to be happy sat down there like that I hope it is because there's not much I can do about it now but that's the actual aircraft built I've got my pilots and my seats here which fit in well I don't want to force it actually but they do fit in there you go there's one in I don't want to break me uh, there's other so you've got my pilots in and the seats they're removable at the minute although it's told me to glue them on the instructions but I want to paint the kit first so I'm going to take these out they're going to be part of my pieces I can paint up after my figures are what I've, my seats are already painted they're fine but my figures need painting so I've got them two to do the ordinance on it I've gotten my sparrows my sidewinders and my external fuel tanks it'll be a lot on it to be honest underneath it'll look fantastic in my view and then on top of that I'll just move this out of way a bit here we go I'll bring it back there you go all of these <laughs> are all ready to be sprayed to be painted I'm going to paint it all black I'm going to use Mr Surfacer the reason I'm doing that is I want to bring all these colours, all these tones down so we're starting with like a fresh palette as you'd say, it's, it's all going to be one colour. Now whether I'm using black or grey or the brown or whatever colour you wanted for your uh, primer, that's the main reason I'm doing it like that so that when I start spraying my, my greys on it and all that I've got a fresh, all, all fresh even colour of paint that it's all going to be coming out from. So there you go one phantom f4 with the stage ready for painting hope you've enjoyed the video i've really enjoyed building it stick around hopefully in a week or so i'll have her painted and i'll have the video on for that and we can see how nice she's going to come out and look and i've got to say i love a phantom the dual look beautiful does the f4 really does I'm going to have to get myself a British one to do an all because we, Brit, well, UK had them as well, so I really need to get one of them. But anyway, this is the American one. And I'll catch you on the next video.